Hello and welcome to my channel Study with Pradipto. Today I will solve week 0 assignment 0 answers of the course data structure and algorithms using Java. This is not a mandatory assignment but I am solving this assignment to let you know that I will provide all the assignment answers of every week in this channel. So if you want those answers then please subscribe my channel and comment below. Okay. So the first question is, which of the following data structure uh, is or are primarily used to store data in non-contiguous uh, memory location? So the answer will be option B and option C, that is linked list and binary search tree. Question number two, string str is equal to hello. Now system.out.println, the length of the string will be five because there are five uh, letter in this uh, string. Okay. Now, what is the output of the following code snippet? So in uh, array, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, system.out.println ARR3 will be 4 because array index starts from 0. Now, what is the output of the following code snippet? So, the answer will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 because here i less than 5. The loop runs from 0 to 5, uh, 4. Okay. Now, for question number 5, which of the following data types you should consider to store the number of stars in the galaxy? Okay. So, that is a huge number. So, uh, we will use long, right? So, option B will be the answer for question number 5. Now, for question number 6, which of the following statements are not considered so far uh, as the initialization of the string is concerned? So, the answer will be option D. That is, cat array message, then this. Okay. Now, question number 7, how many times the following loop will be executed? Okay. So, the answer will be the loop will execute infinite times. Now, what is the output of the following code snippet? Now, there are two string. One is Java and one is a new string Java. So, there are these are two process to initialize the string. Okay. Now, we are using double equal to uh, to compare. So, it will compare the reference. Okay. It will not compare the content. If we use str1 dot equals str2, then it will be true. But here, uh, double equal to compares the object reference. Okay. And these are two different objects and that's why the answer will be false. That is option B. Now, question number nine, what is the output of the following code snippet? So, the answer will be 10 and 11. Now, for question number 10, what is the output of the following code snippet? So, both are integer value x and y. So, system.out.println x, y, y will be 2. That is option A. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get all the videos in this uh, course of every week. So, thank you again. See you in the next video.